uh, these videos that are done in repetition. Nonetheless, let's talk about uh, the Everest challenge. And it's really Friday, so I've actually debunked one of the, another one of the myths, but also I thought that um, we'd probably do a um, Friday uh, philosophy today and just sort of talk about the power of purpose. Uh, if you want to do anything significant in 2016, you really have to identify uh, what your purpose is. And the reason you need to do that is you really need to be able to anchor your future um, on a purpose that you're designing for your life right now. Otherwise, you just get pulled by the past into replicating the same year. So your purpose really has to be, um, as one would describe it, a magnificent obsession, something that's bigger than yourself, something that's greater than yourself, that really pulls you, pulls you, pulls you forward um, to really what you want to do. And all, in the same context as goal setting, um, you've got to really think about what you're after and set it out extremely or visibly or visually clearly for yourself um, because that will then provide you with the absolute strongest pull um, to create your imagination remember what I've said all along the issue of that curiosity getting that curiosity and turning it into creativity that is so so important and once you've got that purpose and you see yourself moving on that path it's amazing the confidence that gets built from that simple activity because as you move forward one step at a time you build confidence you know building confidence is just replication of activities that become part of who you are what you are and how you're seen in the world and as you replicate those activities as a consequence your activities grow your confidence I should say grows and so does your activities for that matter but they grow you know so you want to do a marathon you start running you do it and then you start realizing geez I can do this I am good at this I'm capable of doing this it can be in speech writing it can be in leadership it can be in management whatever you start on that path and as you do more and more of it you become more confident you know, same with a uh, pianist on a piano. They start doing scales and from scales and they do pieces of music. Then they do concert halls. So it, it, the beauty about doing purpose or identifying what your purpose is in life is that as a consequence, you'll develop a very deep level of self-confidence and self-belief. And that then almost becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy and closes the loop of pulling you forward into your future. That's the philosophy for today. It's time to fly. It's uh, really time to move, move forward. Yes, it's time to fly. Ian Martin Blakey at uh, ianmartinblakey.com. Hope you're enjoying the series. I'm getting lots of feedback. We're debunking myths. We're moving forward. I hope I'm just giving you some insights as what your 2016 can look like. Um, if you just do a little bit of thinking and reflection, particularly over the Christmas period, because it is a, an anniversary year, the beginning of the new year, beginning of a new you and really an opportunity to achieve what you want for not just next year but for the years ahead. Say hi to the family. Bye.